heading up to uh, plow. We've had in the last uh, two days 48 inches of snow. We've got a neighbor whose truck broke down, so we've got antifreeze for him. We've got uh, my dad and brother and a father son hanging out at the yurt. Uh, we knew we were going to get snow, but maybe not as much as we have. So they have no way to get down. We're going to plow them out, so we're going to try to record a little bit of it. We got to get the chains on. So. And it's about uh, seven degrees now, so thanks for good times. gear, manual override, and uh, keep the transmission temperature up so you can uh, uh, hold up the gauge here so we can keep an eye on it. So far, 147 degrees, 147, we're good. Plowing uphill, up the canyon, here we go, let's do this. Looks like a neighbor hit it, so. foot right here but it's just gonna get deeper probably about 3,500 feet we'll be close to 6,000 here when we get up to the property so yeah looks like uh, we're not gonna have a whole lot of room to push gear here shortly so or push the snow we'll just try to see what we can do with this truck and uh, we definitely see the need for a skid steer with snow blower so we can kind of knock these berms down and just got a lot more power and heavy duty um, so we'll see right now the Lord's providing this truck great plow and for the most part works awesome all right when it's super cold the uh, windshield freezes and because we got to run the wipers because we're getting overspray clogs the windows so
drop-offs. So when we're plowing on the way down, we gotta really pay attention. We're getting a pretty good berm of snow, so it's not likely you can go off. But we try to push it into the stream and get as close as possible. That's where, again, the big snow blower on the skidster would really, would be nice. You could just, you know, stay off the edge and throw it clean to the other side of the hill and, um, you know, it never accumulate like it's doing right now. So we're, we're going to be limited here very shortly as far as what the plow can throw the snow because the banks are going to be upwards of five feet here soon. So good times. Good times. Cuts a lot easier, I don't have to work the engine as hard. I'm just gonna have to hit it a couple of times so that we can keep it wide because if we keep getting snow, we got nowhere to go. This is what we signed up for though. This is what we signed up for. I think there's a lot of ministries that you can you can read books about hard work, adventure, you know, maybe even dig a hole and then fill it back in so you can learn a work ethic. Up here, work is uh, is kind of how you, you survive up here. So that's what we wanted. We wanted something that just pushed all of us and gave us great opportunities to do discipleship. You know, side by side, shoveling snow, plowing, getting stuck, digging out. You know, it doesn't get much sweeter than this. So, love it.